Let's document. Join me as we cover breast ultrasound protocols. On today's edition, documenting satellite masses. Next, we're gonna talk about satellite nodules. One method of tumor spread is via satellite nodules. And this means that the malignant mass infiltrates the tissue a short distance away, either via cells or visible or invisible speculations, and then it grows a new mass a variable distance away from the original mass. And these areas of adjacent new tumor growth are called satellite nodules. And the new mass shares the same histology as the primary mass. When an irregular mass is visualized in the breast, the adjacent tissues, at the very least that quadrant around the mass should be carefully scrutinized to see if there's one or more satellite nodules present. When you visualize a satellite mass, you need to take an image showing both the primary mass and the satellite nodule, and you need to measure the distance between them. And you measure both the inner borders and the outer borders, like on the top image of the slide. The inner border measurement shows the distance between the main mass and the satellite mass, and the outer border measurement demonstrates the total amount of malignant spread. And this should be done for each satellite mass that you encounter. Let's summarize. Here's the steps for documenting satellite nodules on a breast ultrasound. You want to take a radial image with and without measurements of your primary mass and a radial color Doppler image of your primary mass. You want to take an anti-radial image of your primary mass with and without measurements and an anti-radial color Doppler image of your primary mass. And then you want to follow these same steps for each satellite mass. You want to take a radial image with and without measurements of your satellite mass, a radial color Doppler image of your satellite mass, an anti-radial image of your satellite mass with and without measurements, and a color Doppler anti-radial image of your satellite mass. When a satellite mass is visualized, an image showing both the primary mass and the satellite nodule should be taken as long as you can get them both in the same screen together and often change the field of view to a sector orientation will help you with this. You want to measure the distance between the primary mass and the satellite nodule, both the inner borders and the outer borders. The inner border measurement shows the distance between the primary mass and the satellite mass, and the outer border measurement demonstrates the total amount of malignant spread within the tissue between those two areas. Note that these images should be repeated for each satellite mass that you encounter. And if there's many satellite masses within the tissue, I generally will pick the three satellite masses that are the furthest away from your primary mass. It's not important which scanning planes you take your measurements from. You can take two measurements in anti-radial and one in radial, or do the opposite of that. As long as you've covered all three measurements, you want a length measurement, which is your horizontal measurement, a height measurement, which is your vertical measurement, and a width measurement, which is a horizontal measurement. The biggest mistake I notice new sonographers making is that they do two height measurements, which is two vertical measurements when they're measuring things. Always look carefully to ensure that you have two horizontal measurements and a vertical measurement when measuring masses. You want to include irregular margins within your mass measurements, so any angular or microlobular margins and you want to include any desmoplasia which is a thick echogenic halo around your mass within the mass measurements. You want to exclude any speculations from the measurements of your mass. And the same thing for the satellite nodules. You want to include and exclude the same things. Interested in learning more about ultrasound? Join me on Wednesdays for new videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.